Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gene Edwards. You are watching Lube for January the 4th, 2023, as I give you the preview for the Edmonton Oilers and the New York Islanders that takes place tomorrow at the Rogers Place in Edmonton. How'd you guys sleep last night? You know what? Hate to say it, but I actually tossed and turned a lot. And uh, one thing that was really bugging me, and I just, I, I'm, I'm just having trouble wrapping my head around this. How did Jay Woodcroft turn that team around last year? And now this year, he's kind of almost a spitting image of what uh, Tippett was doing. I'm not, I'm not saying Jay Woodcroft is Tippett, but it's just... It concerns me that he might have lost this team, to be honest with you. Um, because it's like rinse and repeat when it comes to the media. He seems to be always saying, yep, yeah, it's the the day's, the, how does he word it? He goes about, it's the day's task. We got to worry about today, and that's it. Not look too far ahead. And he did that last year, and it worked very well last year. This year, for whatever reason, it's not, but I still have faith in the boys. I simmered down quite a bit from yesterday. I was actually quite, quite frustrated with that game. Um, because it's just, those points are so, so critical. And when I get into the money puck percentile for tonight, you're going to understand why. And I will get towards that a little bit later. Uh, as far as news and notes go, not really a whole lot of stuff going on in oil world or country or whatever. Um, however, if you guys are subscribed to the, um, what do you call it? Oilers Plus, uh, they are releasing the episode that features Kane's injury. That's episode 11 of The Oil Drop. And that's what I will be doing tonight. I am trying to also do this in between periods of the Canada-USA game as I'm kind of in, <laughs> into watching that right now too. It's actually a very interesting game. Um, But yeah, so episode 11 shows Kane's injury with the traumatic injury. Um, and I'm very keyed up to watching that and i will be watching that a little bit later uh okay let's get into the edmonton oilers matchup with the new york islanders tomorrow as this is a team that has a history with the oilers as you know the edmonton oilers lost in their very first stanley cup final to the new york islanders and then a year later won their first stanley cup against the new york islanders that being said that was a team with a much different uh, lineup, and it was a much different game back then as well. You had Mike Bossy, you had Wayne Gretzky, Trottier, Mark Messi. I mean, lots of studs were on those teams back then. Uh, and yeah, a lot of iconic Hall of Famers. Uh, but we are talking about present day. And in the last 10 meetings, the Edmonton Oilers and New York Islanders are very, very tightly knit. I rigged up some numbers here from the last 10 games, and they're all tight scoring. Not a game went over five goals. Um, and this is in the last 10, like, I mean, five goals for one team. Um, let me see. Yeah, not even one of them. Uh, so Edmonton actually leads the New York Islanders in the last 10 by a count of six to four. Uh, however, they don't lead in the goal count as in those 10 games, they averaged 2.5 goals. The New York Islanders event, uh, averaged 2.6 goals. There's that little variance. So, you know, this is going to be a tight, tight game. And that's the unfortunate thing is that Seattle game. With what they did on Friday, you would think that they should have been able to win this game last night, but they didn't. And we have to move on from it. Um, and the Oilers are going to have to win some of these hard games now. 
and that's just the way it is. They're gonna have to do. They're gonna have to get on a streak somewhere, as they are really getting close to being back to 500. Uh, okay. So, do I have any more here? Okay, we're gonna get into the trends. There's some very interesting trends going into this. Uh, as the Oilers, one of the hot trends... Okay, I'm going to read out the Islander trends first. So, the Islander trends are... They are one... No, what, what is this? Seven and one in their last eight versus the Pacific teams. That's a pretty hot trend that they got going. Um, when it comes to the Oilers, they have one hot and a few cold ones. And we're going to go over the hot one right now as they are 5-1 and one in the last six after scoring two goals or less in the previous game. Uh, the Oilers are also 37-15 and 15 in their last 52 after allowing five goals or more in their previous game. So they usually have a decent response. And the Oilers are 4-10 in their last 14 with a team with a winning record. So that could be a bad thing. Uh, as far as the cold trends go, the Oilers are 1-6 in, in their last seven versus the Metropolitan. The Oilers are also 0-4 in, in their last four when their opponent scores five or more goals in the previous game. The Oilers are, okay, that's a Thursday one. I'm not even going to read that one, but okay, I guess I'll read it. Oilers are 0-4 in, in their last four Thursday games. I don't believe in those stats when it comes to the day. I think that's ridiculous. I don't even know why they put it. Uh, and then the Oilers are also 0-5 in their last five home games, which is dumbfounded. Greatest fans, amazing arena, and they can't seem to get it done in that arena. I just don't understand that. Um, now, some of the head-to-head -head ones. Um, the Islanders are 1-9 in the last 10 meetings to Edmonton. And uh, one in nine, that's a crazy stat. Also, the home team is 21 and five in the last 26 meetings. So, what I'm reading here is the Oilers have a chance. <laughs> the Oilers have a chance. And we need them to, we need them to win some games here. It's that simple. They're going to have to win some of these tough ones that are coming up as well. Okay, so that leaves us now to the standings. Uh, not much has changed yesterday. I'll just basically post it here as a graphic. Um, but, yeah, right now, right now in... Oilers well, still have the wild card, the second wild card. Uh, Calgary still with the first wild card. There wasn't really too many games. There is one game today that uh, might affect it. Dallas and Anaheim. So, yeah, there's actually no one in the Western Conference that could, and Minnesota is playing tonight. Um, but I don't really think that will affect their thing. Okay, so this is something that uh, kind of concerns me now. So, with their standings, uh, as far as Money Puck goes, they have dropped 4.8%, now sitting at a 56.9% percent chance to make the playoffs that's not good that's not good 56.9 is not good so they dropped pretty significantly um i'm trying to stay positive guys i really am um but yeah i have my concerns i definitely have some concerns on what will happen to the Edmonton Oilers. I guess it's just a waiting game see. All right, guys. If you just happen to be uh, browsing through this channel and you're watching me for the very first time and like the content I bring you, feel free to hit like, uh, share, and subscribe. Those of you that watch me and follow me from the get-go, as always, stay healthy, stay happy, stay hydrated. We will talk tomorrow when I do the game review of the Empton Oilers and the New York Islanders. You guys have a good night and go Canada go.
spit so sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feel it.